Welcome to another Gimme 5. That's Jim Shear. I'm Mike Adam, and this week we have a, a very cool topic. Um, so we definitely want you to weigh in afterwards, after we discuss our lists. Maybe you have a list of your own. Maybe there's somebody. I feel like there's going to be somebody we forgot about. Uh, we have music's most successful offspring. And let me break it down for everybody. It is well-known musicians who either fathered or mothered other well-known musicians. Right. So, Jim. And I think there might be some gray area with well-known musicians. Yeah, totally, totally. But like I always say, everything can be argued on Give Me Five. Because I was thinking of like Alan Thicke, but for, you know, Robin Thicke. But I'm like, is he really a well-known artist? Eh. Yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe he played harmonica, but he was over. <laughs> anyway, here's my list. At number five, Nora Jones. Yes. She is the daughter of Ravi Shankar, world-renowned sitar player, rest in peace, did some great work with the Beatles. And I guess I should have said Grammy award-winning Nora Jones. At number four, Jacob Dylan yep. from The Wallflowers, son of Bob Dylan. And if you had, if this list was different, maybe... If you combine the success of both the Offspring and the OG, yeah, I think they'd be number one. Totally, like totally. Bob Dylan, Jacob Dylan. Yeah, but it's music's most successful Offspring. Yeah. Uh, number three, Nasty Nas. Uh, his dad is Olu Dara, who is a jazz musician. And if you want to check out his work, watch the Nas video, "Bridging the Gap." Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, a beautiful collab between father and son there. Number two, The Wiley. Miley Cyrus, <laughs> daughter of Billy Ray Cyrus, and I think it's safe to say she has eclipsed her father's fame. Uh, yeah. Who had a huge achy, hit breaky with heart. achy breaky heart. <laughs> and uh, the number one most successful offspring in music, Beck. His dad is David Campbell, who is a well-known arranger, wow. composer, and conductor. You might not know David Campbell, but he is well-known in the industry. And if Kanye is watching, Beck does know a lot about artistry. He does. He's number one on this list. I forgot yeah. about Beck. There you go. Uh, Give me five. So we have a lot of overlap here. Um, I figured we would. Yeah. At the number five spot, though, I'm going to go with uh, Damian Marley. Bob Marley. How son. did I miss that? Yeah. That's a great one. But I mean, you could pick a couple of his other sons <laughs> yeah. as well. But I just personally love Damien the most. And I love his rasp. Yeah. He's, he's great. Um, at the number four spot, Nora Jones, obviously the daughter of Ravi Shankar. I love Nora. She's phenomenal. And I mean, she's been around for a while now. Great success. Um, at the number three spot, Jacob Dylan, mm -hmm. who is the son of Bob Dylan. You know, it was funny. I interviewed him one time and I said to him, you know who you kind of sound like when you when you talk? And he was like, who? And I was like, Tom Hanks. <laughs> and it went south from there. He really? was not happy about it. I thought that was funny. He was, he was pissed. Um, wow. Yeah. So at the number two spot, uh, Enrique Iglesias. Oh, wow. Julio's son. Yeah, Julio. And, um, you know, Julio, obviously, in the, the Spanish community, I mean, this guy's a, a legend. Yeah. So If you're talking success and singles, you might be right. I mean, Enrique, I mean, he's properly placed at number two. I didn't even think of that. Absolutely. And number one, I'm going to go with Miley Cyrus. Yeah. Um, she's just, I mean, from, from the TV stuff to transitioning to music, she's a powerhouse. So... There you go. Uh, shout out to all the moms and dads out there giving birth and raising <laughs> fine musicians all across the world. Yeah. And I was hoping Francis uh, Francis Bean Cobain would get into music. Doesn't yeah. look like she's going that route though. No, she's gonna. Yeah, but she executive movies. she executive produced the uh, Kurt Cobain documentary, which is great. Yeah. yeah so uh, there you go. For Mike Adam, my name is Jim Shear, and we will see yins later. 